Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, it is gonna be an Amazon haul. This is a collective haul of everything I purchased over the past, I would say like month, maybe month and a half. If you saw my previous video, it was a spring decorate with me house tour slash Amazon haul in there as well. So I shared a bunch of other Amazon goodies. If you watch this video, you can't get enough. Definitely go back and watch my previous video. I show a ton of of spring Amazon home decor products. And yeah, I think you would really like that one. So if you wanna see everything that I bought over the past like month and a half, these things are home related as well as like lifestyle, some random things in there as well, then please just keep on watching. You guys, we actually leave for Disney World tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. By the time you're watching this, we're already back, but I'm so hyped. That's why my hair is done. The nails are done, get into it. I'm just so, so excited. So I was like, you know what? Now that I'm like put together, let me film a video. I feel like it's been a really long time since I sat down, so I'm very excited. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is actually a fashion item, which I have not talked about fashion in a long time. I have been wanting split hem leggings for so long, and I could not find a pair that weren't just like dragging on the floor. I'm 5'2", well like 5'1 and a half. I'm basically 5'2 with shoes on, and it's really hard for me to find like pants that aren't too long. I always have to get a short size, but these Amazon pants, the inseam I want to say is maybe like 28, either 26 or 28, which is perfect for me. They are technically long if I am barefoot, but I'm obviously going to be wearing these out. So for me, as long as they were the perfect length for me wearing heels that I don't have to worry about going to get them hemmed, it was going to be two thumbs up. So these leggings are great. I love the split hem. I love how they feel. They're obviously black and they're just like such a great material and I honestly love them I think the split hem is like super cute super flattering. It makes your legs look longer. Okay moving on You all know i'm obsessed with my spotlights I have them literally behind every single faux tree in my house Like I have them behind this tree plants pots faux stems faux trees like you name it I have spotlights behind them. I just think it gives off the most beautiful light It really makes the room feel I don't know. There's like a certain ambiance to it. It feels like you're on vacation. It feels so elevated and luxurious for something that's so inexpensive and just like an easy tweak that anyone can make. Well, my spotlights that I have around my house are black and I didn't realize because I went back to buy more. They come in white. So I bought two white spotlights and I think it's perfect, especially on my pedestal that I have in the living room. The pedestal itself is white. So having the white spotlight, it kind of camouflages it. Whereas before, before the spotlight was black, you could kind of see the black cord. I mean, I tried to like tuck it back there and like kind of hide it for like Instagram reels and like pictures and things like that. But in real life, like you can see the black cord behind there, which it wasn't like a deal breaker, but now that I know it comes in white, it's awesome. So if you have like white walls and you plan on putting the spotlight sort of against the wall, get the white version so it won't stand out as strongly. So I'm just really excited about that because I love the spotlights. I think they're amazing. Okay, moving on. You you all know I'm obsessed with glassware. I swear I went through a phase like when we first moved in of getting a bunch of different stemware, glassware, like there's something about making yourself like a cute little drink. I've been obsessed with poppies lately. I'm definitely a drink type of girl. Like I like little beverages. I like the flavored waters. Like I just like sipping on like a cute little drink. So for me, having cute glassware is essential. This glassware, there's something about it that makes me, they just remind me of like marshmallows like they just look like they don't look squishy but they remind me of squishy things and I think it's just really really cute I also have like fun little straws that I got from Amazon and there's just there's something about it okay we're romanticizing life over here I say that in almost every single Amazon haul video I'm romanticizing my life I like the little straw I like the little glass cups pouring my poppy in watching a show or just like reading a book or just having it I don't know it's just it's cute okay it's just cute and I really like these okay speaking of cute Cute. This vase, I think it's so cool. I think it's so different. It's definitely like a conversational piece. I would say it's very unique. It's like this ribbed vase and it kind of makes like a diamond shape. It's really, really cool. Um, I would put this and I plan on putting this in the center of my coffee table, like somewhere where it's gonna be the center because it is a very like center of attention home decor piece. I think it's awesome. I'm in love with vases. I swear every single surface that I have in my house has some type of vase 
base pot with faux stems in it. And so I just had to get this one when I saw it. I'm pretty sure it comes in, yeah, it does. It comes in like a smoked gray color, which I think is beautiful. And I was tempted to get that one, but it was delayed. It was either delayed or it was out of stock in that size that I wanted. So I ended up getting the amber color. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's like this warm ivory color. I think it's just gorgeous. I think this would be really, really pretty in like a glam room or an office if you have more of like a girly style with like a lot of white as I sit in like a sea of white, white and cream and beige. I think it's just really, really, really pretty. Okay, speaking of girly things or just things in general that girls need, this is a necessity. At least for me, it was. If you're anything like me, this is a necessity. I easily run out of closet space. I have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of accessories, handbags, jewelry, like you name it. So, and my closet really isn't that big, like compared to like our bedroom. You guys, if I could do it all over again, first of all, if I could customize this house more than I was actually able to because our home is semi-custom, if I had full range, I definitely would have made our bedroom a lot smaller to be able to fit in a bigger closet. Like if I couldn't change the square footage, I would have made our bedroom way smaller and our closets way bigger. We have such small closets, but I mean, it's fine, make do. And luckily with these shelf dividers, I can organize my things. I like to keep my purses organized with these shelf dividers. You basically just put them on a shelf and it separates items in your closet. So I have them on the top part of our Ikea system. You all know we did like a whole Ikea pack system. So at the very top, I have these dividers and then I put my, I put one purse, either one or two, because I think I have a second one behind there. But anyway, so you can fit like one or two bags like in between the dividers and it looks very aesthetic. It looks like a little boutique, but it's also very organized. You're able to see all of your handbags and I'm able to reach for them for like date nights and like switch up my bag. Okay, speaking of organization, this hanger organizer, you guys, it has changed the game. I'm not gonna lie, our hangers were getting out of control. They were just shoved in the back of the closet in a corner. They were all mangled and you know how hangers get, like they were all over the place. I would go to grab one and literally pull out like 18 with me. I'm like, I need a system for this. So it is this hanger organizer. You basically put one side of the hanger, like the actual open side where the clothes go on one end of the divider. And then the hook kind of goes in between the other end. I'm gonna pop up a visual so you can see this with me, but it just keeps everything nice and organized. We still keep it in the back of the closet, but now that we have this organizer, they all lay evenly like on top of one another. So if I need one hanger, I literally just pull up one and they're not tangled. They're not a mess. It's fantastic. Okay. Okay, next up is this decorative bowl. I just think this is really, really pretty. Again, it's kind of like the vase that I mentioned. It's just, it's just pretty. It's something to put on like a tabletop or like a shelf. I have it in the glam room. I thought at first that I was gonna keep my beauty blenders in this, but I didn't like the way that all the beauty blenders looked inside. I like it empty. I think it looks like cleaner, more minimal. So I just have this. It's very, it's like a light gray color. I think it's just really, really pretty. It's very like a vintage in a way. I don't know, some, for some reason it reminds me of like vintage things. But yeah, I just think it's pretty, it's cute. It's a home decor piece. Like it's something that you can like put out just to like decorate your space and to have it feeling like a little bit more like put together. I just really like this and I highly recommend it. It's really great quality, sturdy, it's heavy, it's a nice material. I can't say anything bad about it. I just really like it. Okay, moving on to a couple random things, not home related. I, I don't know if you all can tell, but I got my hair, my extensions cut. I have micro lengths in my hair. And so my natural hair is out and pressed. And then I have extensions like linked in, like it's micro lengths. So they're like linked in. So I got them cut. They used to be very, very long, like to my ribs and I got them cut. Now they're like the same length as my natural hair. And so I've been wanting to get into more like heatless curl options just because like, I don't want to be putting like excess heat on my hair. I already go to the salon like every two weeks and put heat on it and it's probably not the best. I need to take a break. I probably will do that this summer. But anyway, so I got these heatless curl options. One is called a sleepy tie. It's like a hair tie basically where you put your hair up in like a bun and you wrap it around the like scrunchy hair part. 
I don't know how to describe it, but you wrap it around like you were like wand curling your hair and then you twist the scrunchie around. And honestly, it's like a cuter way to go to sleep. Okay, first and foremost, it definitely keeps the curl. It gives you more of like a blowout, like a big curl. That's not how I got these curls. It would probably just do like one big ringlet, like not ringlet. It will probably do just like one big curl instead of like, you can see that the hair wraps around like two times. Like the curl is wrapped like twice with this one. But if you use that sleepy tie, it's just gonna be one curl. So I really like that if I'm just, you know, wanting something like easy, a little bit looser than what I have now. Like I said, I told you all we're going to Disney in the morning. So when I got my hair done, like I definitely wanted more of like a curl cause I know on vacation it's gonna drop and I'm gonna be hot and then it'll be just like that blowout look, hopefully. <laughs> That's one heatless curl that I really love. And then the second one, another Amazon find, it's like the traditional heatless curls that I'm sure you've seen before. It's basically like this one rod, you put it over your head, you curl on this side, you curl it back on this side. That's what I did last night to get these curls. Mind you, I did get my hair done. So I'm just in the business of keeping these curls looking the way that they look before I sweat them out. So, and hopefully with the heatless curls, I actually won't. So yeah, I really, really like the heatless curls. I think they work. I think they look cute. I think it's a great way to use less heat on your hair. It keeps your hair looking good after you leave the salon, which is key for me because I don't know that much about hair. I don't know that much about doing my hair. So having something easy that I can just like wrap around, do a little wrap around is key for me. Okay, and the next thing that I got is a faux tree for the playroom. This is a, I wanna say it's a eucalyptus tree. I think it's really cute. I love the greenery of it. It's kind of more of like a cool tone, like ashier green. And I think it looks nice in the playroom. I think it's cute. Um, yeah, it's not too tall. If you're looking for just like a simple tree, maybe you don't want something huge. You don't want something that's like a statement, but you just want like a little like subtle moment that makes the room feel a little bit more like cozy and complete. I highly recommend this one. So yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it. That is everything that I got from Amazon over the past couple of months. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I know you all love a good Amazon haul. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will have my Amazon storefront linked down below. I will have all the products linked down below. And you definitely want to go over and follow me on Instagram because I share Amazon favorites, like reels all the time. I'm constantly sharing Amazon products over on my Instagram. I'm way more active over there on Instagram. We are growing rapidly over on Instagram. We started the year with 200K, which is so exciting and like unbelievable. So yeah, definitely go over there. If you're not following me on Instagram, you are missing all the fun, I'm telling you. So yeah, you guys, with all that being said, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And we, all of my Amazon favorites, we will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye.